My name is Mark Mendelssohn. I'm an infectious diseases specialist and I'm currently the head of infectious diseases and HIV medicine at Hudiske Hospital in the University of Cape Town. I trained in the United Kingdom, went to Cambridge to do a PhD and then finished my infectious diseases training there. In 2007, I became head of infectious diseases and started the unit at Hudiske Hospital. My work pre-COVID really focused on the pandemic of antibiotic resistance but really for the last 18 months I've been working on the COVID frontline. I work mainly on the high care units where the sickest, most severe COVID patients are, are nursed uh, prior to those possibly requiring the intensive care unit. So the immune system is an extremely complicated system and it um, has a lot of different facets. And in general, we talk about cellular immunity and we talk about antibody-related immunity. And the antibody-related immunity is what we hear about a lot in the news about the level of neutralizing antibodies that a vaccine will elicit. And these antibodies attach to the virus and stop it infecting the cells. The cellular immunity side is much more in play around protecting against severe disease, hospitalization and death because it invokes memory cells, it evokes a memory response for the immune system and the different cells that are components of this cellular response act in a different way to the antibodies. And when we have variants which change slightly, so-called mutation, that may affect the antibody response more than the cellular response, which is why, in part, we may get breakthrough infections, but they're not so severe. And so the benefit you get in protecting against severe disease is much greater than that of getting the infection in the first place. But if you are vaccinated, you have a lesser risk of transmitting the virus. And if you become sick, we now know from the data from our research studies that you're much more likely to get mild infection. The Sisonko trial showed 96% of breakthrough infections if you were vaccinated were mild. And if you look at the data from Israel, from the UK, from the US and elsewhere, it's all telling the same thing, which is that vaccines are protecting people against severity of COVID and from dying. And really bringing that back to, to my own experience, um, in my high care unit, we have patients who are filled with regret because they haven't been vaccinated. And the psychological impact of, of being sick with COVID is, is huge. But to carry that as well is really severe. But more importantly, if you knew that vaccination, if you understood that vaccination could protect you from being there, you would be vaccinated. COVID-19 for, for anyone who works in a hospital is synonymous with the sound of of oxygen hissing, of monitors beeping, and of people in extreme distress. To not be able to breathe is one of the most terrible things. And anything and everything you could possibly do, primarily of which is getting vaccinated, to prevent getting into that position, you want to do.